Today on Nightline, a huge addition to the Knight family, a CMN road trip, and another highway hero. I'm Megan Phillips for Nightline. Two weeks ago, Knight Swift Transportation agreed to acquire US Express. The full truckload carrier, which is headquartered in Tennessee, has 14 terminal locations and operates a fleet of approximately 7,200 tractors and 14,400 trailers, primarily across the eastern and central parts of the country. They will continue to run as an independent brand and employees will continue on as usual. As with every acquisition, our goal is to make their brand the best version of themselves, not to simply make them part of Knight. We hope for this process to be finalized by the end of the second quarter. We welcome everyone from US Express into the Knight family. Glad to have you on board. It's Children's Hospitals Week, and Fleet of Miracles driver Rosalinda Tejada and Charity Coordinator Whitney Buck took a load to Orlando, Florida for the Children's Miracle Network 40th anniversary event. I've been with Night Transportation going on over two years. I'm also a trainer here. Uh, what's got me to drive for the Fleet of Miracle is that I actually did some volunteer work with the Children's Hospital, and I'm also ran the vaccination sites out here in Arizona. And I am riding along with Rosalinda out to Florida, and I couldn't be more excited to go and deliver all the amazing things that are gonna make Children's Hospital Week fantastic this year for their 40th anniversary. And here's our trucks. We got Swift right here, and then we also got night transportation. And we got Whitney. <laughs> Since 1983, CMN has raised $8 billion to support children's health. We're proud to partner with them and hope to raise even more in the years to come. Justin Kilbane was driving through Flagstaff with his girlfriend when he slid off the road and into a four foot deep snowbank. Stuck in the snow on the side of a heavily trafficked interstate and unable to get himself out, he watched as truck after truck passed by. That is, until a shiny red big rig pulled over next to him. James Reeves, a night driver out of El Paso, pulled over to help get Justin out of the snow. Justin said about James, he was a wonderful guy, as nice as you could possibly get. We appreciate James for his empathy and kindness. As an RV veteran and now a truck driver, James has a service and duty-driven character. James has been a part of our Knight family for only a year, but has already proven to be an invaluable team member and friend. <laughs> that horn means it's time to enter the speed zone. Facts flying in at 65 miles per hour. The next Drivers Dine-In and Drive will be Friday, April 7th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pick up some free lunch from any of our terminals. The Truckload Carriers Association Scholarship Fund application is now open. The fund awards up to $6,250 per year per full-time undergraduate college student. Anyone who is an employee or the child, grandchild, or spouse of an employee can apply. You have until May 5th to apply. Check out the link below. And the Randy Knight Scholarship deadline has also been extended until April 16th. Any ASU student who is a dependent of a Knight employee can apply. That's two scholarships. Don't miss out. The winners of the biannual driver engagement survey are Hayden Crook from Phoenix Dry, Matthew Renteria from Tulsa Dry, Cherish Gray from Denver Dry, Christopher Jones from Lakeland Refrigerated, and Latasha Bell from Houston Port. Enjoy your gift cards and thank you to everyone who submitted. We appreciate the feedback and look forward to making positive changes. Next Step Load Preview is now available on KT Mobile. Check out the Next Step button to view the macros on the home screen of your tablets and personal devices. Make sure the information submitted is correct before moving on to the next step. The button will not change until it's correct. Hit the button as soon as it's appropriate and valid timestamp data is sent electronically to the customer. Have you taken this month's safety course in Knight University yet? The topic for April is the CVSA Road Check event. Remember, taking this course is required for you to qualify for the safety component of your monthly bonus. Don't miss out on more moolah. We have some old faces in new places. Mike Yace will be the VP of Planning and Optimization. Ren Knight will be VP of Operations for West Dry Van. Mike Webb will be the VP of Operations for East Dry Van. Drew Zvek is the new Terminal Manager for Dallas Dry. Tyson Quintana is the new Terminal Manager for Las Vegas Dry. Spencer Edmond is the new terminal manager for Salt Lake City Dry, and Juan Martinez is the new terminal manager for Midnight. The goal for the fuel efficiency bonus in the month of April is 7.26 miles per gallon. If you're looking for tips on how to increase your fuel efficiency, we made a video on that. You can find it on the driver portal. Congrats to our newest million milers. Each of these drivers have driven the equivalent of 40 trips around the entire planet. How crazy is that? Thank you for your dedication. And finally, Congrats to our highest performing terminals for the month of February. Our highest performing large terminal was Memphis, and the highest performing small terminal was Las Vegas Ports. Whether you're on the road or in the office, it's a team effort. Nice job to everyone from those terminals. 
Are you subscribed to Night Transportation on YouTube? If not, what are you waiting for? Get notifications for these videos and all of our latest stories. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok so you can keep up to date with everything we do. I'm Megan Phillips for the latest in all news night. This has been Nightline. Good night and good truck.